Brian. Brian. What's the problem? I heard from the accountant you denied my request for money. I asked her not to give you. Why? We keep spending money on unprofitable things. What happens when we need money for important things? What do you mean by unprofitable things? Brian! Wait, are you saying my needs are unprofitable? <laughs> You're beginning to forget that I am your elder brother. Look, I, I, I'm, I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. You came last week and I asked them to give you the money. What did you do? You went to the club and you lavished everything. Now you are here requesting for another set of money. Look, there is no money for me to give you. <laughs> now I see. You're getting power drunk. And the CTA is beginning to affect your thought process. But Brian, I need not to remind you that you and I have the same equal rights in this company. And what I have done so far is to ask for a fraction. And I will remind you that this is our father's legacy. And I can't let anything jeopardize it. Okay? Wow. So tell me, what have I been doing to not preserve our father's legacy? Your unnecessary request for money. Every time, money, money, money. There is no money for me to give you. It's either you wait for your monthly income to satisfy your needs or you get out. Really? I am not even happy right now. Can you imagine? My brother just denied me access to funds in our company. <laughs> I support him on this one. You can't just be spending money anyhow and you expect him to keep giving you money. What do you mean, Christine? See, he's just lucky to be made the boss. This is our company we're talking about here. I mean, we both have the same equal right. You're right on that. But you need to trim down your expenses. And like you said, it is your father's company, not your company. So you cannot just be spending anyhow and behaving as you like in the company. Oh, really? Yes. I thought you were my friend. I thought you were going to support me on this. Smith, I am your friend. And that is why I will tell you the truth. I can't lie to you. You need to just do, do the right thing. I am your friend. And as I just tell you the truth. going on? What is going on? What is going on? I've been to the state police and he's not there. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? What Please, hello? Hello? Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Now stop. Now look to the left. You're gonna see a grey gate. Then throw it over. Perfect. Perfect. Everything is intact. That means your brother still loves you regardless of your differences. I mean, you know. So, you know, you, you, you take it, alright? Okay. Alright, alright. I'll see you. Alright, cool, cool. Yeah. We stick to the plan. Yeah. Don't forget. You know, they're in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hope they didn't hurt you. Sorry. Let's go, let's go. Why 
What is the meaning of the money I saw there? Is that why you barged it into my office just like that? Anyways, I gave you what, what I could let go out of the money. What you could let go? What do you mean by what you could let go? So what do you want to do about it? What I want to do about it? I will tell Brian everything that we planned. Listen, you can go ahead and tell Brian that you and I faked my kidnap. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> hey, bro. Chris. <laughs> Brian. Oh my God. What are you doing here? I just came to discuss something with Smith and that was... You came to the office to see Smith without saying hi to me? Oh no, no, no. I was still going to come to your office to That's say hi. So when are you going to come say hi to me especially? Oh, anytime you call on me, I will just I will come. Alright, I, I would have loved you to come over to my office or I sit here with you, but I have a pressing issue I need to attend to. So, um, Smith, it's about the communication company. So they called us and they want us to come over for a meeting, but we need a strong proposal for this. Oh, that, that's good. So what is the next line of action? Yes, I have a meeting with the consultants for guidance so that we don't lose this deal. That's a great idea. So when are you planning to meet with the consultant? Um, right away. That's cool. That's amazing. I am super proud of you, brother. Okay. Um, Kristen, why don't we have um, a meeting, let's say, next week for old time's sake? Anytime is fine by me. All right. Um, nice to see you again, please. All right. So, Smith, I'll call you. Hope, hope he did not hear what we were saying. You're such a big fool for coming to my office to have this conversation with me. You know what? You have to pay me my balance. If not, I will let the cat out of the bag. You will do no such thing. Right? Oh, really? Yes. Sweet. So why did you change your mind? I was just pulling your legs. No, you are not pulling my legs. You are just a greedy fellow. Really? Mm-hmm. It's not your fault. It's because I have paid your balance. Anyways, so Brian invited me to his office to have lunch with him tomorrow. Then I guess you should go have a nice time with him. Won't you join us? Where in this conversation did I tell you he invited me? Why are you sounding official? Anyways, you are following me to his office tomorrow. You sound, you. you sound ridiculous. I know. You are following me tomorrow. Nah. Oh, this sitting brings so much memories. When was the last time we had a time like this? Yes, um, that was before that passed on. But I'm sure you and Smith still talk to each other. See, like, <laughs> I mean, Kristen here is always busy, just like the both of us. And uh, I think it's really been a while we managed to see each other. Yes, we don't. All right, if you say so. So um, the reason why I, I brought you here is because I have a business proposal for you and I want you to work in hand with Smith over here. Officer. Please, arrest it of them. What, what are you doing? What is Brian? the meaning of this? Listen to this. Go ahead and tell Brian that you and I faked my kidnap. You faked your own kidnap, Smith. For what? For money? Brian, I can explain. It was his fault. It was your fault. Brian, I am your elder brother. You should know this. I, I, I don't have anything to say to you. Officer, please take both of them out. Sir, ma, you are under arrest. I will advise that you remain quiet. Anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to a lawyer. If you don't have one, the state will give you one. Sir, please move. Uh, Brian, you can't do this to me. Leave, leave. Please. It, it was his idea. I told you. I told him. It's not my fault. Brian, I am your elder brother. 